Here are some of my favourite tips and shortcuts in PTE AV Studio. Control G toggles the file tree on and off. Once we have a project underway, we don't really need the file tree and it just takes up screen space. This way we can see the content of our file list a little better. While we have our attention on the file list here, F3 is a great shortcut key to display the file list full screen. To return back to the normal window, press F3 again. We can tell what images we've used and not used in the file list by the colour of the file name. Those in blue have been used in the presentation, those in white have not. A common place to start working in this software is the slide list, but we often have a need to switch to the timeline and maybe back again to the slide list. F6 will do that for us quickly and easily. From the slide list window, we can select one image or many images and we can hit the AB icon on the top left corner of any of them. That takes us straight to slide options. Here we have access to the transition tab and the main tab to make changes to those images we've selected. While we're in the slide list, if we select one, many, or even all of the images here, you can change the transition duration of them all in one go. Templates, slide styles, themes and transitions that we create or import from others are stored on our C drive. I like to change that to a more secure drive because if a drive failure is going to lose us work, chances are it's going to be the C drive. Go to File, Templates, Manage Templates, and we can change that location. And if you have a second drive on your computer, that's probably a good choice. It's not uncommon to have an image selected for our slideshow that we then need to edit slightly. Control W is a great shortcut because from any location, the file list, the slide list, or the timeline, select an image or a video and hit Control W. If the image you've selected doesn't open up in your chosen software for image editing, go to Settings, Preferences, System, and you can tell PTE AV Studio what image editor, video editor, and sound editor to use. There may be times when you have the need to stretch the timeline so that the images, video, and sound can be more accurately placed. Control and F11 will increase the length. Control F12 will decrease it. Now with sound editing in mind, we also have the need at times to make the sound wave file wider to allow more precise sound editing. If you use a mouse with a scroll wheel, I believe you can use the wheel to do this, but I use a graphics tablet, so I need to go to settings, Preferences, Timeline, and there we'll find the Audio Track Height. We can increase that up to 400% and it makes a lot of difference with our sound editing. Not all of the options available to you are turned on in this software. Go to Settings, Preferences, Toolbars, and my advice is to tick all of the boxes that are not ticked. Some of those you may never use and you can always deselect them later, but one of them is very useful and it's change image stroke video file. The change image file appears here on the main screen. Now you may wonder what's so special about this. Well, it'll change the image okay if you change your mind, but it will leave every setting and animation you applied to the original image. Now I've found that to be a pretty useful and practical thing to know. 
Lastly, let's take a quick look into the objects and animation screen to show our soundtrack. Go to Tools, Waveforms, Show Waveforms, but you do have the shortcut key of Control T. Once we have the waveform visible, we can increase the width via Tools, Waveforms and the Percentage. I'll see you next time.